Hello, my name is Emeka, and today I'm going to show you how to do a simple slab on grade design using Skies of 3D. We're going to be following along with this tutorial here and using our Structural 3D software. So to start, we're just going to open a new Structural 3D model. Start new. And so the first thing we're going to do in this process is uh, first just going to lay out the different nodes and uh, members. So like every other structure we're designing with SkySiv, we need to define our members and our nodes. And so we're just going to do a simple footing. And so what we'll do is we'll start at zero, zero for the first node. We'll go zero to 10 for the second node. We'll go 10, 10. So this kind of lays out our nodes. And again, you can also do this with the pen tool if you find that to be easier. And then we're just going to go to the members and connect these real quick. One to two, two to three, three to four, and then four to one. So now that we've kind of defined that, we're able to move on to the next step. So for our foot foundation, we're going to have to be use a plate. <clears throat> we're going to use a plate. And so to define the plate, we're going to have to first lay it out to the different nodes. And then after that, we're going to mesh it. So first, we're going to go to a new plate. We're just going to go one, two, three, four for the node IDs. And for a thickness, I'm going to say 10 and we're going to want to change the material to concrete so hit apply i'm actually going to go to settings change this to imperial and then go back to the plate we just created yeah let's change this thickness to four inch or six inches okay so now we've defined that plate it's time to move on to the next step in the process. So what we're going to do now is we're going to actually mesh the plate, which will, you know, actually define it so we can run calculations and finite element analysis on it. So we're going to go back to the plate we just created, plate one, and then we're going to go to this open plate measure right here. So you can get pretty detailed and we go more in detail in the documentation about this, but just for now, we're going to do auto mesh and we're going to set the size for the mesh. We'll just go in the middle, just hit default. So not too coarse, not too fine. Proceed. And now it's kind of defined a bunch of different mini nodes along the plate. And so now that we've done that, we more or less have finished creating our slab that we're going to be using to do our analyses. But now we have to add the loads and also add supports. So with slab on grade, it's a little different than typically how we would put supports for structural 3D. Um, we're going to want to create spring supports at all the different individual nodes so we can run our analysis successfully. And so what we're going to do is go to the supports. And instead of defining them all individually, we're going to go here where it says add a surface support, add a surface spring support. For plate ID, we just created plate one. And these values, the modules of subgrade reaction and spring type, you're going to um, find from like a typical geotechnical report. But just for now, we're going to define this as 10 and we're going to go linear. We're going to just assume the soil is not a compression only or tension only type. And so we'll hit submit. Okay, so it's kind of added spring supports all through out there. But what we need to do is if you could think about it, if you have a column, you're going to need to have the column kind of punching or being the kind of fixed point in the middle of the support. And so while all these typically can actually be spring supports, we're gonna to have to define at least one fixed support. And so we could do that at the end, but what I typically like to do, so it's kind of a little bit more realistic, is define kind of one of these middle points. And what you can do is if you have, say, a larger column, you might wanna define what the actual 
length or the size of the column might be. But just for the intent of this tutorial, I'll just define one. So I'm going to take this middle point here. And you can see here how it's still like a spring support. I'm just going to change that one to 3D pin. And so all this is doing is it's ensuring that there's a fixed point for the supports on this structure. And so when we run our analysis, it can actually uh, you know, run actual design and not fail. And so lastly, we've created our model. We've also added the supports. The last thing that we have left to do is go ahead and just add the loads. And so in this particular instance, we're just going to add a distributed or an area load. Um, you can go in the documentation and read more about distributed load and you know point loads, etc. But for the sake of this tutorial, we're just going to do a quick area load. And again, just kind of like we define the plates. We're going to use his corner notes and you can see as we define them three place out all the different points for the pressure again we'll just go 10 ksf um, and this will be low group yeah okay so you can see here now it has a defined load and we'll go to load combinations design codes and just for sake of ease, we'll just do LRFD. Import. Apply. And now we should be done with our design. So once we hit solve, linear static default, it's going to tell us, OK, so section one is not defined. So you need to go to sections. And this was just when we were laying out the different members. We need to ensure that they have a section defined. And so section one, we are just going to make it a concrete section. So we'll go to section builder, shapes, it's rectangle, make sure that it's concrete, submit. And now when we run our analysis, successfully solves. And then we can look at the different reactions, shear conditions, what have you. And lastly, if we want to look at a quick summary, you know, in this case, the deflection and the stress limit are too high. So we'd have to go back and either decrease the load or increase the size of the footing to make sure that it actually meets the failure conditions. But once we're done with that and we want to print a report, we come here, select the values that we want to have in the report. Select the globe combinations and hit create report. And after that, your report will be created and you know, you're good to go. So that's basically how you go about designing a slab on grade using sky structural 3d and how you can you know, run your analysis, create reports and use this for your typical day-to-day -day design needs. Thank you.